Matthew Dearman rim clamp is known industry-wide as the clamp with muscle. Use it anywhere reforming needs to be completed on heavier, over schedule 40, or highly irregular pipe. Rim clamps are designed to fit pipes 4 to 72 inches in diameter, with each clamp having between a 2 and 6 inch clamping range. All rim clamps include a level and support device. All contact points are stainless steel for use in high purity settings such as nuclear power plants. In addition, jack bars and threads are designed to resist welding spatter and to prolong clamp life. Set up the rim clamp by placing it over the primary pipe. Back off all the jack screws except the top two, which will help center the clamp to the pipe. The fixed jack bars should rest on the primary pipe and the adjustable jack bars should come about two inches over the primary pipe's edge. Tighten the central jack screw in each section of the clamp. Then tighten the fixed jack bars onto the primary pipe to help center the clamp. Move the two bottom adjustable jack bars out to give the mating pipe something to rest on. It's now time to place the mating piece. Pin the upper adjustable jack bar or bars down and tighten all the adjustable jack bar jack screws to center the mating piece of pipe. Then tighten and loosen all clamp jack bars until the pipe edges are perfectly aligned. Tightening some sections several times may be necessary to level out heavier pipe walls. Adjustable jack bars offer enough clearance for a full weld, but should be flipped back before grinding. Use the level and support device to help align fittings like T's, elbows, flanges, and bends to pipe. Attach the device to the end of the fitting as shown and secure it to the primary pipe by placing the bottom of the fitting onto the extended jack bars. Then connect the level and support chain to the main block and tighten the fine adjustment. Complete the alignment like you would any other. Cage